So in this video, I think I'm going to quilt this block and this block. Eh, I might get to the one beside it. Let's see what happens. So I'm trying to keep the quilting you know, a little heavier in the background and a little lighter in the colored fabrics, but I don't think we're going to have to do something different in this one. So from our stack of rulers, let's pick out the one that's going to fit. And this one, yeah, that's going to do fine. So this is one of my half circle rulers. They come in green, they come in blue, and I'm going to use both of them here. All right, we got it going in regulated mode because we can stitch around nice and slow and we can reposition the ruler as we need to. All right. Now it gets kind of squirrely, so we have to use the inside curve. Trim off this thread. All right, and now I think I'm just gonna wing it and do the inside bits of these melons. Just go real nice and slow. You know, I could try to use this kind of far away from my machine so it might be hard to see. So this tool is called the Apple Guide. It's by Deloa Jones. It's really cool for working around applique. Hence the name, Apple Guide. Alright. Now I think I'm just gonna do some pizza slices here. that one's done. Bravo. And there's no clear travel line to get from this block to this block, so I'm just going to cut my thread. All right, here we go. Let's scoot this over. And let's go. And I know in this one I've got a little bit more space, so I'm going to do some tiny feathers inside. I think those will be cute. Mm, that noise in the background is my dog. She wants outside. Let's do some cute little feathers. So feathers can pretty much go into any space at all. I think that's one thing I really like about them. They eat up a lot of real estate and typically they look pretty good. So look how nice they took care of the fullness that was in that block. I do need to get back in here and do a bit in the center. Let's 
just make X's. And we're almost done with this guy. All right. What the heck? Let's do this one too. Since we're here, are we still in the shot? I'm going to scoot us over again. amount of space in this block to do much so I think we'll just do some outlining and probably echo on the outside little bow tie or is that an hourglass and let's go back out the way we came let's echo oh excuse me I kicked it oh unless we're still in the frame Next blocks will be actually the scallop sashing. That's kind of fun. Using the lines on the ruler to keep my distance. All right, so we've got three blocks done, and next up will be these scallops. <laughs> 